Rhapsody of Realities Daily Devotional Tuesday the 12th of December by Pastor Chris The topic, Born into the Victorious Life Our first verse Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulation or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or peril or sword? Nay, in all these things we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. Romans 8, 35-37 You could have trials and challenges from inflation to economic recession, health issues, family problems, etc. The good news, however, is that it doesn't matter the challenges you face or the situation in your country. The Word says, In all these things we are more than conquerors through Christ. This should give you comfort, peace and joy. Knowing we would encounter challenges in this world, the Lord Jesus assured us of victory when he said in John 16.33, Be of good cheer, I have overcome the world. Distressing situations abound in all human societies because of man's fall and failure. But the word declares, In all these things we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. Romans 8.37 You've been lifted over and above the depravities and corrupting influences of this world. Recall our opening verse again. It clearly states that neither tribulation, distress, persecution, famine, nakedness, peril nor sword can separate us from the love of God. Because in spite of them all, we are more than conquerors. Now, if this meant that you'd conquer no matter what you face in this world, that would have been wonderful. But it means much more than that. It means you've gone past conquering because you conquered in Christ. You're now living in the victory of Christ. This means there's nothing to struggle with or try to overcome anymore because you've already won. Don't allow the circumstances of life or the economic situation in your country make you a victim. You were born into the victorious life when you were born again. Now you can understand why the Apostle Paul, in spite of the great persecutions and adversities he faced, dismissed them as light affliction. For our light affliction, which is but for a moment, worketh for us a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory. 2 Corinthians 4.17 Then in Acts 20.24 he said, None of these things move me. Let's say this prayer confession together. Dear Father, I thank you for the victorious life that I have in Christ. The greater one lives in me. Therefore, I live in triumph over circumstances. In total fulfillment, joy, glory and dominion. I reign and rule by your word, irrespective of what I feel, see or hear. In Jesus' name, Amen.